going to have Jerry read the love chapter out of 1 Corinthians 13. But before he does that, I want you to, to be thinking about a few words that I'm going to be focusing on, and that is forgiveness, and that is mercy, and that is lust. Get your water. Okay, so Jerry, would you uh, read that for me, please? Sure. I got a little, little short commentary tonight because this is quite like this. Okay, Warren Worsby's commentary about the love chapter. Love puts quality into service, puts maturity into character, puts eternity into life. And Dr. D.L. Moody said, God hates the great things in which love is not the motive power, but he delights in the little things that are prompted by a feeling of love. 1 Corinthians 13. If I speak in the tongues of mortals and of angels, but do not have love, I am a noisy gong and a clanging cymbal. Yes. Or if I have prophetic powers and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and if, you, and if I have all faith so as to remove mountains, but do not have love, I am nothing. If I give away all my possessions, and if I hand over my body so that I may boast, but do not have love, I gain nothing. Love is patient. Love is kind, love is not envious or boastful or arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way, it is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice in wrongdoing, but rejoices in the truth. It bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never ends. But as for prophecies, they will come to an end. As for tongues, they will cease. As for knowledge, it will come to an end. For we know only in part, and we prophesy only in part, but when the, the complete comes, the partial will come to an end. When I was a child, I spoke like a child. I thought like a child. I reasoned like a child. When I became an adult, I put an end to childish ways. For now we see in a mirror, dimly, but then we will see face to face. Now I, only, I know only in part, then I will know fully, even as I have been fully known and now faith hope and love abide these three and the greatest of these is love thank you jerry now isn't that beautiful yes. you know to me uh, and i've done some marriage counseling and different things and and to me whenever i read that what that illustrates is the face of jesus christ that is love in the essence and if we could just strive for that. Now, did any of you hear anything of any uh, discipline in that? Because there were words of discipline. There were words of discipline in that. Because without discipline, you cannot have love. The first part of that talked about discipline, the gonging. And then the last part, it talked about discipline again. And when we put away those childish things, as we put away those childish things, we, we grow. And there is something about this whole story about love is that if we cannot forgive somebody, how can we expect someone to forgive us? Have you ever wanted somebody to forgive you? I, I have been there. I, I've wanted someone to forgive me, and I couldn't forgive this person myself. Because I love this person, but at the same time, I hated that person. Now that isn't that isn't any kind of love. That's not love that Jesus has for us. That isn't love that God has for us. God has a disciplined, well-ordered, agape, all through and through love for us. That does not mean he will not discipline 
his children. That does not mean that there isn't consequences for our sins. We can come in the name of the Lord all we want. We can call ourselves Christians until they throw dirt in our face, six feet under. If we do not have the knowledge of God's word, and if we do not uphold to what we learn in that personal relationship with him, ignorance of his word is no excuse with Christ. All man has evil, but all man has the capability of overcoming their sinful way through Jesus Christ. All man has love in them. All man hungers for the truth and for love. One might say, well, what about the person that doesn't know any better because of a medical reason? And I think the only medical reason would be because they might be born developmentally retarded, where their brain doesn't function for some reason or another. But God has provided a way for them, just as he has provided a way for those many of millions and thousands of babies that were murdered from their mother's womb. Those babies are all sitting up in heaven. That we are loved before we were even a twinkle. We were loved before we were knitted in our mother's womb. If we have forgiveness for one another, that is a sign of love. Mercy. Have you ever thought about the word mercy? Mercy comes from God through Jesus Christ. He's the one that has mercy. You might think that you have mercy on somebody, but true mercy only comes from Christ. True forgiveness comes from Christ. I can forgive you and say, would you forgive me? And it's up to you to accept that or to reject that. And that's the same with with God through Jesus Christ. He had forgiveness for us when he went to Calvary. He had forgiven us. It's up to us to accept that or to reject that. That's a sign of true love. Mercy comes from Heavenly Father, from Christ. He made a way out of no way so we would not have to have eternal life in hell and perish. Then we hunger after lust. A lot of us, when we come to Valentine's Day, the world is in lust. The people of this world are focused on lust. We, as Christians, we are guilty, even as us. If we don't truly teach our children the difference between forgiveness and mercy and lust, they are confused. We have the charge to bring our children up in the way of the Lord. Lust is from Satan. It is not of God. It has nothing to do with love. I could remember back in my younger years, if anything had a skirt on it, I had lust. It wasn't mercy. I mean, it wasn't love. 
It was lust. How many of us can be honest and say that we went through a period in our lives and has experienced that? Until God gets a hold of us and show us that true love is clean and pure. True love is righteous and holy. True love is a way of communication of one's affection for another in order, in righteousness. We can have true love with our Heavenly Father. I am so in love with my Heavenly Father through Jesus Christ who had mercy. That doesn't mean I'm gay. That doesn't mean I'm a homosexual or anything else. Because in the spirit realm, there's neither male or female. There's no race, no one, there's no division. We are all created in God's image. We all are created in God's eyes. We all are perfect. We all are whole. This tent may not be here on earth because this earth is a place of corruption until the time the Savior comes and He will make it perfect. Until the time when your spirit leaves this body and enters into the kingdom of heaven, that he would send angels to protect you on the way from the things that are satanic and of Satan. Satan counterfeits love and calls it lust. Satan counterfeits forgiveness and calls it sorry. Satan counterfeits so many things that we have to be so in tune with God's word and without knowing God's word. And that's why they call the basic information before leaving earth manual God's word. Because those are the truth. Those are the words that we live by. Those are the words that we create our nation under. Those are the words that we create that we build our family unit around in our cities, in our country, in our lives around those same words. Anything else is counterfeit and not of Christ, is not of God. But so many of us, we have had that robbed from us. Even those people who call themselves Christian that's why we got to be constantly checking our inventory. Because those things that we lust after creep in from time to time. And Satan will creep in and twist things around. That we no longer have a clear picture of what love truly is. That's why it's good to read the love chapter from time to time and know and to refocus. I could spend a whole week every day speaking from just that one chapter on each verse what love is and what God is saying to us because the Holy Spirit speaks to us through His living word, God's living word. Thank you. God bless you and have a good Valentine's Day. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah.